By now, I'm pretty sure everyone has noticed the race into space. Never before have so many different players emerged on the market and presented their innovative and often brilliant ideas. Today, we celebrate exactly such a moment. Today, the Rocket Factory Augsburg will present their new staged combustion engine. And together, we want to discuss its relevance for the commercialization of the European space market. First of all, micro launches and the fast and agile development, which has been testified in the images we saw here, is something which is crucial to keep the speed of innovation in Europe. And we've seen it with uh, the micro launcher from Rocket Factory. It is the right size to go fast and it is the right size to go to exciting new events. And uh, the ignition we've seen right at the beginning of the video is really something which is uh, spectacular because such birth of a new engine happens every two decades. In the beginning, it was always uh, super expensive, only a few used them. And, and even it's the same with a mobile phone, yeah, where they were still very, very expensive. And now basically everybody has it. And that's what I see for space. Now space is very complicated, very expensive. Only very few companies utilize uh, space data. But this will change and we will see a mass adoption. To fly uh, to the precise orbit, on schedule, not on the schedule of the primary payload. They don't want to wait for any uh, large satellites any longer, but they would like to fly to the uh, specific orbit uh, on their schedule. This is where the uh, small launchers uh, will play a key role and our RFA uh, will have a lot of potential in this field. Um, how do the customers value the stage combustion engine? Is it really important for them? So uh, looking at this uh, from the customer's perspective, I, I, I could just conclude that the uh, staged combustion engine is the high performance technology successfully used on uh, some other reliable launch vehicles and uh, RFA is doing a great job uh, landing and developing this technology within Europe. So it's, uh, it's an excellent effort as a customer. Uh, I would say that uh, I, I would value simple working and reliable solutions because it allows to shrink launches and to use much less resources. The shrinked launches will provide at much less cost, more performance. And then we go up the ladder of uh, services, building up a real new ecosystem. And this is what is happening right now. We build up a new ecosystem which surrounds the Earth and which becomes the eighth eighth continent to be conquered. And stage combustion is just a dual element which is essential to to climb up the ladder. And Mr. Tin, what do you look for before investing in a space um, in a space start startup? We also have to see a business case. And uh, that's sometimes a challenge because sometimes space needs also public money money for for R&D. But it's great that we're also coming at a stage where there are uh, business models that work for uh, for uh, venture capitalists. So we need like in five, six, six years, we need to see that this uh, can become a, a profitable or at least become a business and then maybe in 10 years, um, a profitable business. And Rocket Factory is one of the, the prime examples of um, that are now, they are in investors and they're uh, German investors, which are truly like in, in that company, um, that, are, that are waking up and say, okay, deep tech can also be an option. Uh, we, we will see um, hopefully an IPO of, of Lillium Aviation from, from Munich um, in the coming days. So the tech ecosystem is waking up and hopefully it will be those lighthouses just that also Thomas Zombeck just, just mentioned and um, get the ecosystem starting and we see more and more um, investors willing to, to put into uh, to deep tech. What needs to be done to establish a flexible agile landscape for innovative startups in Germany? Yes, I guess. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy to be here with you today um, because you are one of the startups uh, that consist out of our new space launcher competition. Uh, I believe that what we have created here is um, a, not only a test bed, it's a role model for a lot of deep tech uh, fields because what we did was uh, not developing a launcher by ourselves the way we have done for for many many years in europe what we have done was to say so we are going to procure starts 
And uh, we started with this uh, competition. It's in a similar way like we know it in the United States from the X prizes. And we announced a 500,000 euro grant. And so as far as I know, a lot of venture capitalists are not really sure how to build a rocket. And if what these startups are trying to do is, is reasonable because of our competition and um, and um, the um, evaluation from the from the DLR, the German NASA, uh, the VCs could get aware that uh, this is really something that could work. And it's good to see with Rocket Factory here in Augsburg to see one of these startups uh, arising and uh, obviously very attractive to the market. And from your perspective, why is it important that also in Germany we now have a company building stage combustion engines? I know this is your advantage that you're capable of building this uh, stage uh, combustion engines. Nevertheless, I believe that unique, uh, you need a unique selling proposition. And uh, maybe this is it. I don't know. Um, in the end, what it, it comes up to the question is, is the service, uh, is the service um, uh, really uh, good in competition. So as it seems to me, there is a hard competition between several large companies and I'm pretty sure that Rocket Factory will make a good job to make a good offer to all the customers here. And that's where it's up to. What can really be done that we um, lose our fear uh, here in, in Europe that we also can keep up with the level that is in the US? Well, um, we, we have to grow the, the ecosystem. There's not one magic um, uh, bullet. For example, um, in the US, you have um, many founders that that generated hundreds of millions of, of return. So, so they are now um, very progressive in, in investing that, that back into the market. We're just coming into that stage uh, in, in Europe. I believe uh, Germany uh, created more unicorns, so worth over a billion um, than, than China. The ecosystem in Europe is, is, really, uh, is really waking up um, and we need those, those, those people that just want to give back and, and, and be a little bit more progressive with investing.